and thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Today, we got a little product review on a little product that I picked up here at the store when I went to Harbor Freight, one of my most favorite stores to just shop and just buy shit at because it always has some great things. But when I was in there, I saw something sitting on one of the stands and the products that I already own. And I said, whoa, hey, look at that. I've never seen that there. Let me check it out. So I went over and checked it out and it checked out. So I picked it up. I figured I'd share it with y'all. Check this thing out. Motorcycle swing arm rear lift stand. Just your traditional standard swing arm. Item number, if, you guys, if it'll focus on there, if you guys can see it. 65620, if you guys can't see it. I got it propped up here on my Ducati 959. And it's been on here for, I don't know, maybe five, six hours or so. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it wiggles just a little bit or anything like that. It's rated for a thousand pounds bike is obviously nowhere near a thousand pounds this bike weighs like 400 um it's got the adjustable padding here on the arms and does just well just what you need it to do for maintenance you know so it's not as sturdy as my other arm that's made of aluminum over here that's uh boxed rather than this tubular now granted we all know that harbor freight has some really good things and sometimes it has some really shitty products a lot of the stuff comes from china sometimes you can get something really good sometimes you know hey it just it, it just didn't work out but i think if you're on a budget and you're not trying to spend you know maybe two hundred dollars here or three hundred dollars for like my pitbull stand over there this is a real good alternative if you have a bike that doesn't have a single-sided swing arm so go ahead definitely check it out uh, obviously not a paid advertisement or anything like that. Just rear swing arm stand for a traditional style swing arm. Again, the product number is 65620. I think it was 32 or 33 bucks. And then, of course, I used my 20% off coupon. And it was like 29 bucks. So I really couldn't uh, uh, pass it out. And to have a second one in the garage, you really can't beat it. You know, like a drum with a hole in it. So... Definitely, I thought I would share that with you. I picked that up today. It's still holding. My bike hasn't tipped over. Uh, I hope it doesn't tip over. I don't think it'll tip over, and I don't think if it, if it hasn't tipped over yet, it's probably not going to tip over. So this is the second bike that I had it on. Uh, I, you see the way I actually have it propped up here on the Ducati because this bike here, uh, the way the swing arm is actually designed, you could see that it's really designed here on this bike here for swing arm spools, but... For demonstration purposes, I put it up on this one. Just threw it under the casting of the swing arm. It's perfectly fine. Just obviously make sure that you're not touching any of your brake lines or your ABS sensors or anything like that. Opposed to the BMW, where you still can use swing arm spools because it has the, the notch here, but it definitely has more of a uh, flat backing here on the, on the lower part of the swing arm for obviously it to be jacked up and mounted up for you to clean the bike or service it or do whatever it is that you need to do so if you're in the market for you need a, a quick stand throwaway stand that you could bang around and you need to jack up your bike maybe your cbrs your jigsters your prilios whatever the hell it may be that's going to have two sides to your swing arm or even use it for something light duty like maybe your scooters or your groms because that's exactly what i've been also using them over here for they work great. So, hey, for 30 bucks, again, I don't think you can go wrong with it. And I figured I would share that with you guys, share it with my viewers, because maybe you guys need it, you might need it more than I do, and then you can go out and get it. But again, that's going to conclude it here for today's video. If y'all like what you saw, don't forget to check me out here on Instagram at the Speedbug, same name here as YouTube, and we'll see you here for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Deuces.